Hey YouTube, Caliker123123 here with something that is a little different. Now, doing clock reviews here on my channel is nothing new. We've looked at many chiming clocks, but as far as I can remember, I don't think I've ever reviewed any talking alarm clocks. So, I thought that would be kind of cool to do, and there are a couple that I have that I really like and thought they deserved a review. So we'll start with this one. And this clock here is manufactured by Ryzen, I believe. Yeah. And this is a talking atomic alarm clock. And it has several really neat features. So let's take a look. Um, give you a bit of a tour of it first, and then I'll demonstrate how the clock works and what it sounds like. So this is the kind of the front of it, which is made up of the LCD display. And as you can see, if you have a bit of vision, the numbers are quite large. I can actually read those quite comfortably. So it says 132. At the bottom right, a little bit smaller, but if I really look in, I can read the display of the seconds. So 29, 30, 31, yeah. So that's pretty cool. And then there is a mode button on the front as well, which cycles from a couple modes, which I will show here in a minute. Then there are two speakers, which is where the audio comes out. On the top is the main talk button, and pressing this will speak the information for whatever mode you're in. Now, there's nothing on the bottom or the sides, but I will turn this around to show you the back. Oh, it looks like there's a speaker on the back. I didn't realize there was one here, too. Uh, okay, so on the back, the first thing you feel kind of is a set button, which is you press and hold that to go into your settings. Then there is a switch to turn the alarm on and off. And then there are two arrows which move you through the settings. When you're in the settings menu, they move you through the, you know, the hours and things like that. And when you're not in the settings menu, they set the alarm time. Then there is a switch which will control the hourly announcement. This can announce the time every hour from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Now you cannot turn off the night silence option, which is a bit of a shame because I'd actually really like to hear it 24 hours, but that's how it is. It's um, from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. And the announcement actually includes another detail, but I'm going to save that for when we look at the features here. Okay, I think that's pretty much... Oh, the only other thing is that there is a battery door on kind of the lower left of the back. And this clock... If I remember correctly, well, let me see if I can get into it to show you. Okay, so I'm going to remove the battery door, and it takes, yes, two AA batteries. So let me go ahead and put this back on. Again, I need to put the camera down to do that. Okay, and we're back. So now the part that I'm sure all of you really came here for, you want to hear this in action, right? Well, I want to show it to you. So I'm going to flip this around to the front. And again, there's the nice display. But you want to hear the voice. So if I go ahead and tap this huge talk button on the top, this is what happens. The time is now 37 minutes past 1 p.m. So it gives the time in a very interesting way. As you heard, it does not say the time is 1.37 p.m. It likes to say the time is 
37 minutes past one. And that is different and actually took me a bit of getting used to. Now this isn't the only Ryzen atomic talking clock with this voice. So this is actually the second one I had with this particular voice. Okay, so now, again, I'll just hear that one more time. The time is now 37 minutes past 1 p.m. Now, it does have a backlight. It's like a green backlight. Unfortunately, there is a bit of glare. Let me see if I can... Yeah. Oh, yeah, you the can... The time is now 38 minutes past 1 p.m. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you could really see that there, but it does have a green backlight, which is quite nice. Okay, now I'll show you, if I press the mode button, I'll show you the different modes. Today's Thursday, July 22nd. So, yes, it does have a date function, so you can get the dates. So, again, I could repeat that by pressing the talk button. Today's Thursday, July 22nd. But now, if I push this again... The room temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, this has a thermometer. And that is the other thing that I mentioned is contained in the hourly report. That is really cool. And it also has an outdoor temperature. Unfortunately, I lost the little sensor that came with this for the outdoor temperature, so I'm not able to use that feature anymore, which is kind of sad, honestly. But I had this clock. Actually, I've had this clock, I forgot to mention, for quite a while. I got it in, I believe, September 2008, although it is still made and manufactured and sold today, I believe, through a number of places. Okay, so if we press this again, we'll be back to the time. The time is now 39 minutes past 1 p.m. Very cool. So, now, the way you set this clock, well, there's a few things. You can, of course, um, set it manually, which I'll show you a bit of that area. So, if we press and hold the set button on the back here, now I'm going to keep it oriented um, this way with the front, you know, in front of me, but you press the button on the back the round set button and if you press and hold it setting time zone eastern daylight saving time it tells me what time zone it's currently set to and this supports the standard four time zones so it doesn't work i believe in hawaii and alaska um so it supports eastern central pacific and mountain but then if I press this again, setting time. You can set the time manually. Forty minutes past one p.m. Now, well, let me just press it again to get out of this. Setting complete. Now, I don't recommend setting the time manually, although you can. And actually, I did this the last time I put the batteries in, just so I could start using it. But. As I mentioned, this is an atomic clock. So if you leave it alone, it will eventually get the time and it will synchronize with the atomic clock in Colorado. So that makes this clock extremely accurate. Like, from what I can see, it is in perfect sync with my computer and my Apple Watch, which I really like. I think that's awesome. Now, what about setting the date? Well, to do that, we press that mode key again. Today's Thursday, July 22nd. And then we press and hold the set button here. Setting year. Year 2021. So it gives us the choice for the year. Press it again. Setting date. Thursday, July 22nd. There we go, July 22nd, that's right, so I'll just press it again to finish setup. Setting complete. And she very nicely tells us that setting is complete. Now, I didn't show you, but if you use the arrows on the back, it will move through it. And I'll demonstrate that with the alarm. So let me go back to the time display. 
The room temperature is 79 degrees Fahrenheit. It's hot in here. I should probably put the air conditioner on. Okay, that's the outdoor. And here's the time. The time is now 42 minutes past 1 p.m. So, really quickly, what I'll do before I show you setting the alarm, I'll show you these switches on the back. And just so you can see them, actually, I will turn the clock. So, the switch in the middle here, kind of in between the buttons, is for the alarm. And it moves up and down. So if I push it up, it will turn the alarm on. So let's do that. The alarm time is set to a quarter to 10 a.m. So it told me that the alarm time was set to a quarter to 10 a.m., which I've been getting up a bit early for me <laughs> the last week. Um, or I can push it down again. Alarm off. And it says alarm off. So that's the alarm switch to all the way to the right or to the left depending you can access these buttons just fine when it's when you're looking at it if you are able to feel them but of course they'll be reversed but the other switch moves from left to right now currently i believe it is an, oops announcement on okay so all the way to the left i believe is the announcement turned on but if i move it the other way to the right Ooh. Ooh, that's a... Announcement off. <laughs> that is a tough switch. Mine's just getting old. Let's see if I can do it again to show you. So I'll push it to the left. Announcement on. And again to the right. Announcement off. And it very nicely confirms that you have the announcement on or off. So I want to keep the announcement on because I quite like it. So I'm going to flip it back to the left. Announcement on. Perfect. Okay, let's demo the alarm. So I'm going to flip the alarm switch back up. The alarm time is set to a quarter to 10 a.m. And now I'm going to flip it around so you can see this process. <laughs> But we're going to change that alarm time. And in fact, as I was thinking about it, I'm sure there's some of you that would like to hear what this sounds like. So I'm going to set the alarm. So it is now, I just want to see the seconds. The time is now a quarter to 2 p.m. Okay, so it's a quarter to the 2. The alarm time is set to a quarter to 10 a.m. Um, okay, so let me go ahead and push the alarm or the arrow keys on the back here. So there's up and down. I'm gonna use up. Alarm set. A quarter to ten AM. So it tells you where it's set to. And then you can push. Alarm set. Fourteen minutes to ten AM. So that's the way it reads it after the quarter. But I'm gonna move it up to I'm just gonna hold the button down and it will move through. Unfortunately, there's no separate hour and minute, so you have to go through by minute, which can be a bit slow. Let's see where we are now. 40 minutes past 11 a.m. A quarter to noon. Yes, and this does say... 11 minutes to noon. This does say noon and midnight. 4 minutes to noon. 3... 12 noon. 12 noon. Okay, let's try and get it to, let's try for 247, or as she'll read it as, 13. Nine minutes to two. Seven Oops, minutes. Two. Right, let's go back a bit. Ten minutes. 13 minutes to two p.m. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. The time is now 13 minutes to 2 p.m. And that was perfect. The time is now 13 minutes to 2 p.m. The time is now 13 minutes to 2 p.m. The time is now 
13 minutes to 2 p.m. Okay, I think you get the idea. Now, you can also press the top button to, the to time snooze it. Or when you're done with PM. it, you just flip the alarm switch in the back, which I will do in a second. The time is now 13 minutes to 2 p.m. Alarm off. And the alarm is now off. So that timing was actually perfect. <laughs> I had just finished setting the alarm when it started beeping. So, I now want to fix the alarm, though, for me for the morning. And I have to be up a bit early tomorrow morning, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust this. Alarm set. Using the same method, I'm using... 12 minutes to 2. 11 minutes. So, I think, since we have to go up, I think it might be a bit faster to go this way. So, going up the hours instead of back down. Plus, I also kind of want to show you something. 10 minutes to 5 p.m. Okay, so I'm just holding the button down, holding it down. One minute past 6 p.m. Okay, I'll really hold it down this time. So it starts. Let's see if I can see it. Okay. Minutes to midnight. So I let up on it just so I could show you. I never see where we are. 13 minutes past 12 a.m. So you could hear it does say midnight, which I quite like actually. <laughs> it's different. Three minutes past 1 a.m. Okay, and I'm going to try and set this for 8.30 a.m. Or as she'll say in a minute when we get there, half past 8. Okay, it looks like we're at about 4 a.m. I can see this because it's pretty big. Five, six. Nineteen minutes past eight a.m. Okay, I'm just gonna push the button. 28 minutes past 8 a.m. Okay, and one more, t uh, two more times. 29 minutes. Oh, let's do it. Half past 8 a.m. So there we go. Now it exits out of alarm set mode pretty quickly. That's what happened. That's why I had to do it uh, an additional time than I realized. And then we can just flip this up again. The alarm time is set to half past 8 a.m. Leave it off for now, though. Alarm off. So there you go. I think that's all the features. However, I'm not going to end it just yet. I do want to allow you to hear the hourly announcement on this because I think it's quite unique and I really like it. So let me just make sure. Oh, I hate that. Announcement off. Okay, I'll put it back on. Oops. The time is now. Six minutes to 2 p.m. Okay, so we have about six minutes here to wait. But you won't have to wait six minutes because through the magic of video editing, I will be back when it is about a minute to go. So let's get ready and we will now he just about hear the hourly announcement on this talking atomic alarm clock. The time is now 2 p.m. The room temperature is 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, there you have it. I quite like that, actually. I think that's such a neat um, hourly announcement, and I like the little chime there. So I think I've covered everything about this 
little clock. I really like this and I'm actually really glad I started using it again. I hadn't, I don't know, I guess I've always felt a little bit more recently that is there really a need for a talking clock anymore when we have all these smart devices? What made me decide to start using it actually was that I could put this across the room, set the alarm, and then I would have to get up to shut it off. So that's what inspired me to start using this again. Plus, I was remembering how much I liked the hourly announcement on it. So that's what made me decide that, you know, it'd be kind of nice to start using this again. Let's let you get another look at it, you know, full. Look at all the controls and the design. I really like the way this is designed. It feels very nice in the hand. I think it looks good. And it is a nice, just overall, it's a nice clock. Works reliably. I mean, I've had this one, as I think I mentioned, since I want to say September 2008. I'm pretty sure that's around the time I got this. And yeah, I really like it. So as I mentioned earlier too, it is still available as far as I know. Um, I believe I saw it in a few, you know, the common places. I'm sure Independent Living Aids carries it. Um, I think I also saw it through the Carroll Center for the Blind. And of course, Maxi Aids, which I believe is where um, my family member ordered this for me. I hope you've enjoyed this, and if you're interested in seeing more talking alarm clock reviews, let me know down in the comments what you thought about this and if it's something you want to see more of, because I do have a few more. And if there is interest, I am happy to do them. So, with that, it is now... The time is now 2 minutes past 2 p.m. 2 minutes past 2 and I'm going to say that thank you for watching this, and we'll see you next time. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe for more, and feel free to comment. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching, and we will see you soon.